Hello Cancer! Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do your reading for the end of August 2020. This is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I pulled your astrology card prior to starting the reading and you got the Earth Element Stability. Everybody's getting Earth cards today. So I guess that's what the focus is on. The focus is on money and stability and the real world and coming out of illusions. Anyway, the cards that are the decks that you see me use in my readings are available on my website for purchase, guidedangelcc.com. If you are interested in any of them, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to my website along with any other information that you may want to know about me. All right, before, uh, before, <laughs> before I start, whew, I'm already having trouble speaking cancer. Oh boy. Uh, I just wanted to make one little channel announcement about the ads on my channel. I apologize, um, you know, that there's too many ads, but I just, I just turn on the ads on the chat, on the videos and I let YouTube do the rest. I don't put extra ads into my videos. It just seems that if a, if a video is, you know, a good one and a lot of people are watching it then YouTube seems to put extra ads on there but I just wanted you to know that I don't do it on purpose because a lot of people have been commenting about the ads it just is what it is all right so I'm sorry if you have to deal with a lot of ads okay angels divine spirits and guides show me the messages for cancer please for the end of August 2020 what is cancer needs now. I'm using the Arcanum Tarot today. If anybody is interested in that, show me what Cancer needs to see. Ooh. Queen of Swords reversed. Well, that represents confusion. It could represent someone not having such nice words to say to you since it's not your energy. But it's usually mental confusion. It is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. So this could be a family member or a family issue. But the Ten of Cups is in the upright position. So that's a good sign. Sign of Pisces. Show me one more for Cancer, please. Show me Cancer. I just heard mental. You may be dealing with someone that's mental. All right. Four of Cups, sign of cancer in reverse, is about being interested in something. It is a card of temptation. Someone is trying to give you something and you're thinking about taking whatever it is, but you're confused about accepting this cup. Hmm. Ten of Swords reversed would represent healing, that is Gemini energy. So there was backstabbing, there was betrayal here. And when it's reversed, it means we're getting up off of the ground, coming back to life, getting over the deception. So I'm already feeling like someone who did you wrong is making you some type of offer to fix this problem. The bottom of the deck we have the five of cups hmm very sad somebody can't get over losing you or can't get over what happened that's good i feel like somebody wants to fix this so let's see five of cups sign of scorpio show me cancer please for end of august 2020 Page of Pentacles, yes. They want to communicate. Focus on what's real. Focus on what's real. I just heard that. I think I read I think that was part of this card. Come back to reality. Anyway, Page of Pentacles is about making a plan. It is about communication. Could be a job offer. Could be dealing with a child here. But I feel like 
the page of pentacles is to me it's usually curiosity so someone is curious if they give you an offer would you heal this relationship ace of pentacles in reverse represents a missed opportunity so someone may not want this opportunity show me cancer please for end of august 2020 show me cancer one more all right eight of swords really in deep thought here about that's gemini you're stuck but that's because you're afraid you need to face your fears you need to face reality i don't know i keep hearing face reality you have the power to free yourself from this cage or this opportunity is going to allow you to free yourself from mental madness you're really in your head about something cancer I feel a lot of confusion here about fixing something what's on the bottom the chariot reverse that's you so you don't want to move forward with something or someone that's also a relationship that ended suddenly and if that's the case then someone may not have closure here someone needs closure I don't feel like this person is coming forward yet if you're waiting for this person to step forward and communicate with you because I feel like they're confused confused about the offer and confused about communication this person that you're dealing with very heavy Gemini is really up in their head about reaching out to you the chariot all right let's get one more show me Gemini or cancer now I'm going to say Gemini oh my goodness show me cancer you got a lot of elements here because you got the earth element which could be Taurus Virgo or Capricorn along with the page of Pentacles this is Gemini Libra or Aquarius then you got two Gemini cards and then this is your energy so show me the final card for cancer please cancer all right that's a lot of cards could be a parent child relationship here or a younger and an older person okay temperance not compromising growing impatient they just said growing impatient ace of pentacles reversed again what else is there two of pentacles eight of pentacles so high priestess is following your gut following your intuition you don't want to put any more effort into this situation this relationship somebody's getting dropped here with the two of pentacles and i feel like you're just going to talk something off as a missed opportunity what's that one-sided relationship six of pentacles a lot of pentacles in this reading you got the six the eight the two the ace the page but anyway uh, i'll just move that up a little bit let's take these two off so i can see them we're going to get some clarifiers here the temperance card is my oil and water two people just don't get along possibly an argument here I don't really much movement here I feel like there's a lot of thoughts here someone is afraid that if they reach out to you it'll either cause an argument or you don't want to put any effort into this relationship almost like someone is fearing rejection no I stabbed them in the back they're not going to come back they're not going to accept the cup I feel like somebody's like losing sleep over this let's pull out some clarifiers angels show me the messages for cancer show me the messages for cancer please 
What is this Queen of Swords doing? The Sun and the Page of Pentacles. See, somebody's unhappy that they're not talking to you. Could be depression. The future looks cloudy. Something is like still in the dark and it's a mystery. Someone needs the strength to come forward. Someone's trying to build up their courage here to come and talk to you. Because I feel like you're really upset with this person. Show me the Four of Cups for Cancer. I keep wanting to say Gemini. I must be dealing with the Gemini. <laughs> Show me Cancer, please. Ace of Swords. There's the communication. The truth. New beginning. Clearing the air. Bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. Nice. This is looking better. Looks like we're going to get together. We're going to communicate. We're going to try to work this out. You may have been in a situation with this person and they just kept making the same mistakes over and over and you drop them and just chalk this off as a missed opportunity because you're like, I don't get along with this person. I feel like someone let go of stability here. This could be quitting a job, but this queen of swords looks like she got some bad news that made her unhappy. And there's your ace of swords is reality. Show me this 10 of swords reversed for cancer, please. Show me the Ten of Swords reversed for Cancer. All right. Temperance reversed again. The Fool. Somebody definitely wants a new beginning here. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, interruption. I don't like interruptions because I don't remember where I was. So we have the Death card here. So, I feel like there was an argument here between two people, possibly because I'm materialism. Somebody is very materialistic. Someone may have ripped you off. Someone may owe you money, but they're afraid that you're not going to forgive them for the betrayal. I feel like you're not speaking to this person right now. And they're very lonely, sad, disappointment I'm getting. This person's trying to make a plan. They want to come forward. They are so deep in their thoughts about coming forward. But they feel like when they do come forward, you're going to judge them. Somebody doesn't want to face the truth or doesn't want to speak the truth. I do feel like this relationship has potential. I have to tell you, if somebody's that deep in their thoughts and in their head about this relationship, somebody's really stressed out. I feel like they're nervous or they're having like anxiety about coming to talk to you. But at the same time, I feel like they're impatient and they can't wait to come and talk to you. But the fool, I think that's where we left off. They want to take a risk. They want to take a chance. I feel like they have an idea. Like the Ace of Swords is, I have an idea. I'm going to offer them this. I'm going to give them a gift. Page of Pentacles could be a gift. They may just send you flowers or something and see how you respond, see how you react. This could be work. You could have been backstabbed by a co-worker or a boss even. But I just feel like they're saying they're not going to forgive me. They're not going to change their mind. They're not going to get over what I did. It's probably just going to turn into another fight. The Queen of Swords, when she's reversed, she's been hurt. She's been backstabbed. My plan isn't going to work. It's going to fail. I'm just going to chalk, chalk this off as a missed opportunity. They're, they're like going back and forth and back and forth with this Two of Pentacles. Like they, they don't know what to do. But if they take the risk and communicate, they won't be sad anymore. They won't be lonely anymore. And they'll have the answers that they're seeking and they'll be able to get out of their head. This person's trying to be strategic. They're trying to come up with a plan of action. Show me this page of Pentacles for cancer, please. Show me this page of Pentacles for cancer. This one. 
Ace of Cups. Aww. This person really wants a new start with you. Decision made. Two of Wands is reversed. Sign of Aries. This could be a parent child. I got heavy parent child over here. This person did something foolish and they can't get over it. This was a very happy relationship at one time. We saw that Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Ten of Cups, I meant to say. Somebody here is very angry. I don't know if they're healed yet. I don't know if they're ready to communicate yet. I just keep hearing greedy and materialistic. I don't know what that, what, like, where that's going. I, I just feel like this could be work. A co-worker stole your job, your promotion, your something. Show me Eight of Swords, please, for Cancer. I hope I didn't say Gemini too many times. I can't get Gemini out of my mind. I keep hearing Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Death card. Hmm. Seven of Swords. I told you they're trying to be strategic. They feel guilty. They feel bad. Their conscience is kicking in. They're having anxiety over this ending. How can I change this? What can I do? I'm nervous. I don't know what to say. I feel like they want to be loyal. They want to be faithful. They want to fix this. Maybe you've started something new. You're healing. You started something new, a new chapter. You're working on something else, learning something else. Show me temperance reversed for cancer. All right, that's too many. That's too many. Show me this temperance reversed, please, for cancer. All right, is that? Okay, that's only two. Yeah. <sighs> Gemini energy again. They want to free themselves from this prison, mental prison. Someone's in a mental prison right now, and they don't know how. Page of Cups. I'm getting a child again. What's on the bottom? The Queen of Pentacles. That could be... That could be you. We have two queens here. There's something here about... If this is work for someone. There's something here about paperwork or about reports. All the financial reports are out of balance. It's like someone needs you and they're like desperate to, for you to help them get their money back in order. They need your help. I'm seeing like a lot of numbers, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Possibly somebody has something to do with accounting or payroll and someone's very skilled at it and the other person is not. And they need you to come back and fix these papers. Ace of Pentacles reverse delay. I mean, look at all your new beginnings here. You have the Ace of Swords, the Fool card, the Ace of Cups. This is, they're just, they think that their plan is going to fail. That's all I can really get. See, they want this reunion. They're thinking about this reunion. Ten of Wands. It's a heavy burden. Somebody is really, really lost without you. You're valuable. And they realize that because you left. I'm going to pull you some Kipper cards. I don't want to get too wrapped up into these readings. Show me cancer, please. I'm just trying to make them short, guys. Hopefully you got something out of this. There's your child again. Child. Judication. Either this child is in deep thought. You are the child. Or we're having some type of custody battle here because that's my custody cards. A decision about where the child is going to live, who the child's going to be with. 
Show me one more. How, yep, that's where the child's going to live. Two people fighting over a child. Show me one more. For cancer, please. You're going to have to be patient on this one, cancer. Concern. The bottom of the deck is courtship. And someone's concerned over this relationship, they want a new start, a new beginning. Courtship is something that's at the very beginning stages. The only thing I can figure is this. You're already in something else. And that's why this person is saying, they're not going to take me back. They're not going to change their mind. They're not going to end that situation to come and be with me. I have a lot of childish, immature, foolish not being on the same page with someone, not agreeing with someone. I feel like basically someone needs to grow up here. I'm going to pull you some advice from the Spirit Animal Oracle. Be loyal to what you love is on the bottom. I feel like they want to be loyal to you now, but is it too late? Show me cancer, please. I would like to know when this, we're going to ask Angel Answers, when is this going to happen? They're not going to accept my apology. I just know it. Advice for cancer, please. Show me cancer. Embrace the in-between. Makes sense. One more. Cancer. Think on your feet. So embracing the in-between on the bottom of the deck is time to let go. Embrace the in-between is about moving from the darkness into the light. Take this time to rest, plan, relax, because things will start to move quickly. Think on your feet is usually my card of running into someone. This person, if they know your schedule, they know what you do, they may try to run into you somewhere. It's being out with your friends, like that's what they're thinking about. How can I run into them? Where do they go? And it would just be a surprise that somebody's really in deep thought about rekindling a relationship. The time to let go. I feel a uh, rebirth is a sh look what's under that. A rebirth is assured. Wow. Slow and steady wins the race. This person's moving very slowly. Um, time to let go. I feel like you're going to have to end something in order to be with this person. I'm, all, I'm, I'm getting that very strongly. Let's pull an angel answers. So I feel like whatever this is, it's going to be rekindled. Show me when is this going to happen? Can you tell Cancer when this is going to happen? That one right there. Improving health. Somebody's really stressed out about this this situation. Reconsider. Can you tell me when this is going to happen? This is delayed. I'm not really getting a time on here. Scorpio season, maybe? Show me when is this going to happen? When? Taking that one right there. Listen to your intuition. They're not giving me an answer. It's not the right time. Hmm. Improving health tells me that this can be healed. I feel like this person is fighting with their own intuition. They're, they're, somebody's even praying here. This is praying. See? 
somebody's praying that you will reconsider and heal this relationship, but they're putting it off, putting it on the back burner, worrying about the small stuff, worrying about the details. Someone could be very busy right now because with the temperance being reversed and the two of pentacles re being reversed, it's like chaos. So somebody is, maybe this person's working two jobs or trying to get their life in balance first before they step forward so they can show you that they've grown up and that they're not going to be childish anymore. I don't know. I just, I, I feel like they're thinking about stepping forward, but I don't feel like it's going to happen anytime soon. Maybe with the three aces, it's even January. Sorry, guys, I just hit my camera. I'm going to leave that there, Cancer. Good luck with your situation. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.